Okay, so I've set up the Behringer now. I've got my XLR mic plugged in channel one. I'm using that line of results there. I've got gain halfway, and I'm using the master mix here to give good enough audio. What I did do was on the computer. Q802 USB. So I've taken out the box, separate video, I've shown you all that. This is a basic setup. So here, two cables come with this. And these two cables are power supply you have to be careful with this power supply because it's let me show you a close-up it's like one of those funny s video type ones where there's pins in there it's metal but it's fine and there's a usb i've already plugged this usb into my pc this is going to go into the behringer and i've got a sh there so you can see my actual desktop and what you can expect to see okay so and the back of this unit there is two areas USB which is this one I'm doing this all backwards so there yeah, okay so the USB plugged in I remember there was three there was three microphones well three entries here but now you can see there USB audio codec does automatically recognize the Behringer and that's a good thing so step one's done and then because some microphones are xlr powered as in phantom powered there's a power supply that comes with it and again in the back of the behringer there is you can't see that really well just make sure it goes in the right way because it goes in one way okay done so now i'll show you that you can see in the back there's a usb and the power just be careful with the power it goes in one way now i'll tidy this up afterwards but for the sake of a quick test and getting you started and showing you what this can do okay so there's the behringer and what i'm going to do is put my xlr mic there so right now if i go back to this screen you can see microphone is there which is a usb so that now should be enabled but let me show you this screen okay so right now this xlr mic will go off so i'm gonna pull it out noises Turn the microphone. Listen levels. Okay, that's a hundred percent. So if I put the gain up on the okay, so here we go. So now I'm putting the gain up on the mixer. So I'm not doing it from the PC. So I plugged in the XLR. I went to my computer and selected the microphone properties in sound settings. This is a PC. And on that, what I did was click on the microphone and increase the microphone for some reason is low and then can you see this Wait, let me see if i can yeah it's not very good there let me see if i can do it like this might be better because that little action camera can't handle it can he okay so right now xlr is plugged in here and this gain first one was down but now it's really down down hello 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 so now i'm raising that gain to where i want it and that is about halfway gain and then the comp this one here if i increase that it increases the background noise so i've turned that back right down equalizer and highs i don't want highs so i want it to sound a bit more radio -y. mids mid all the way up mid all the way down hello hello and welcome to zorf talks photography that sounds a bit more uh, lows that's lows taken out if i put the lows back in hello and welcome to zorf talks photography put that back Ram. Oh, hello 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 okay i gotta play with these but that's basically getting you started and level one is at plus 15 i can still hear some noise and a bit of a
buzz there let me turn that down okay so that gain a bit higher so now if I'm speaking over here this is without any audio effects and I was previously using something else which was this this little box and what that box did was not much at all really what it did was it had your XLR in XLR out and it had a power supply other side it was just a button just for phantom power so it didn't actually help in any way really because it was just giving me phantom power whereas now at least the microphone set up and you've joined me on the journey live I took it out of the box first time I'm using it and I've managed to get it to work while recording this is using Streamlabs OBS I'll do a bit more adjusting and testing and the main thing to remember is it looks more complicated than it is just think of it like this if you're doing one microphone setup plug your mic in USB power windows and that's your first line you gotta concentrate on that was your first one let me play with it a bit more figure out how to do everything and then... okay so I've set up the Behringer now I've got my XLR mic plugged in channel 1 I'm using that line of results there I've got gain halfway and I'm using the master mix here to give good enough audio what I did do was on the computer you may have seen during my setup stage that I had my microphone on full just like USB codec and what I've done now is actually decrease that from 100 to 50 so it's actually halfway and the Behringer mixer board is actually doing all the hard work for me now and we'll see how this audio sounds I think it sounds better than what I previously had because if you recall what I upgraded from was this newer phantom power box so the mic went in out and straight into the PC and you basically powered it on to get the power to the mic but now in my audacity section I can see that actually based on me speaking directly into audacity the voice is a lot more better than what I was getting in terms of the levels and I've got the Maximix board here which I'm using to slightly increase or decrease my volume and also I'm actually speaking further away from the microphone than I was before so now I think I'm at a good point where getting decent audio but then I don't know until I upload this and see how it sounds like and hopefully you'll let me know if it sounds better or not so this is the conclusion to the Behringer quick setup I'll do more videos about more in-depth stuff for live streams.